Help me! Please, Why is it glowing? Help me! What's glowing? The uh, arrow thing. I'll get you out. What the shit? Oh? Guess we're going up the ladder. Into a wall. Why can't I run? Holding down shift. Not running. Oh, now I can run. Ow. Fucking running! Oh. Great. <laughs> I fled from some horrible fucking demon into a torture room with absinthe and creepy rar number one. Ow. Ow. It's hot apparently. Being awfully quiet. Yeah. Me? I'm very focused. I'm trying to beat this low. <laughs> Newspaper article 19th of March 1858. Travesty of the Conservatory. God damn Many it. Parisians had gathered last night to enjoy the performance of violin virtuoso Malo de Vigny. It was to be the grand pre premiere of several new arrangements of songs by fellow composer George Bizet. Or Bizet. I'm not sure. But the evening took an unexpected turn. Young Mallow de Vigny turned up, un uh, turned up visibly intoxicated. Speaking of which, I should get on that. His violin cried as the bow was the bow was jerked across the strings. The audience seemed forgiving at first, but started to boo the man off stage as he defaced the beloved song. La Rose had la. Uh, I didn't take any French. I don't know. The stress has apparently got the best of young musician as he threw his bow into the audience and finally collapsed. Mademoiselle Justine Flabelle, who is according who, who is according to rumors romantically involved with Monsieur de Vigny, looked quite amused by the event and had two of her friends, Basil Giro and Al Alouis Rachin, Rachin, Rassian, carry him off the scene. Did you take French? Did I know? I'll take Spanish. The evening was saved by other musicians at the conservatory who was able to perform the most delightful impromptu concerto in Milo de Vigny's absence. The audience showered their saviors with praise. Dude, I'm totally gonna skip all those. <laughs> with praise and calls for encore were awarded with spectacular pieces by both Offenbach and Chopin. Never understood why Chopin was pronounced Chopin because it's spelled Chopin. doing? Apparently nothing. Turning this crank on this torture device and it really isn't doing anything. Congratulations. 
Congratulations for coming this far. I'm so excited for you. I do hope you managed oh. to save Monsieur Fournier. He was a friend, and a colleague of my papa, you know. Friendly fellow, a real bon garçon, but frail of mind. He puts up an impressive front, but it is all an act, I assure you. Please, go on. We are just getting started. Great. Fucking creepy ass phonograph messages. I have no oil. Oh, another phonograph. There's no cylinder in the phonograph. Looking great. Wait. Inexplicably, where I fell from the sky, there's a phonograph. Which level are you on? I'm on the second boss. There's bosses? Yeah. I can't even beat the first world. The bosses are wicked hard. I think I'm stuck on the bridge level. Why is there a crushed velvet door? Library, yeah, let's ominous sign. Basement had been extended well beyond the manor during the time of the First Revolution. Justine was not to enter without permission, but now there was no one left to ask. scary. What? <laughs> There's all these statues? Like the mannequins? On this next piece, you should be looking for some divine inspiration. Time to delve into your spiritual side. What do you see? Is the man begging for mercy, or is he being blessed? Perhaps both. Just let me know when you get to the no water. Project. Water? Have the light okay, yeah. guide you. Oh, if there's anything I learned from years and years of Resident Evil, let's never pick up a key item. Ever. Because you never have enough ammo unless you're me. Yeah. Rotten fruit. Results. The tests have been going well. The most long term and, in a sense, the most promising one is the light box. Having Justine choose a slide, essentially a mood for every day. It's a great way to see the larger overall development in her mind. She definitely reads things into the slides I had not foreseen. Her remarkable imagination turns the characters into just about anything, and she is able to effortlessly reduce all her experiences into one of the four character slides. Using the puzzle lock has proven more difficult, as she tends to always choose two slides with characters facing the same way. I have asked her why this is, but she doesn't seem to fully understand what I am asking. Splits on a page. Great. As we've established that we are clearly a woman. Try to sweep this room. I gave up on that. Statues are so fucking creepy. Thank you. 
Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I thought that was a platform. It was background. with a whole bunch of paintings. Yeah, this is gonna end fucking well. You gotta talk into the mic. Hi, Sean. God damn it. Uh, what do I do? King of kings. Mm. Lord of lords. Nice. Oh, what am I meant to be doing? <laughs> no! Oh, shit! Have mercy! Oh, shit! I hope I didn't just fuck up. What happened? I, I... He said, oh lord have mercy. Uh, and he showed, lord show right on forever and ever. I hope I didn't kill him. I accidentally pulled that lever with a saw. Justine age 8 today I played outside with Clarice. We saw a bird pick at a snail. It carried it off and landed in the lawn fence. The snail had a shell and it cracked. Clarice cried and I comforted her. The new maid heard us and came out and scolded Clarice for playing with me. And the bird took off from the air. Today I was the one that found out. Sixteen inch nine. Today I played with the slides from Father's light box above all. Like the man standing to the right. Father asked why. I said he sees things he likes today. I was the right one. Sixteen inch oh, wait, ten. Wait, I think I might have just beat it. Sixteen inch ten. Father said I. Yes, the victory. Hey, trying to be omnipotent and fancy. Justine, age 10, father and I picked the wrong slide yesterday. When I made the chambermaid cry, he wanted me to pick the one with the sword, while I picked the man on the right. I've never picked the one with the sword. Today I was the one kneeling. Justine, age 11, today father came to me in my room and I said I couldn't look at him in the eyes. He said I should feel ashamed and that I only tried to fill the void left by mother. When he wasn't looking, I took the star stone from his collection. Today I was the one with the sword. And he shall reign omnipotent forever and ever. You'll burn for this. You'll You'll burn for this. That's the uh one of the messages I got. One of my nine personas. How do I save this fool? Alright, we'll come back. 